Hello everybody, hopefully you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for clicking on this video, but before we get into the video, just so you know, it is 107 degrees outside. At least that's what the thermostat in my truck said. It's 107 degrees in Monroe, Louisiana. We are under a heat advisory right now. The heat advisory says that we are not supposed to be outside uh, until like 7 p.m. tonight or something like that. It's very hot, all of that to say. I shot this video about 45 minutes to an hour ago uh, in the blazing heat, it's very hot. Yes, I'm sitting in the shade, but it's still very hot. And like the first several shots of the video are out of focus. Uh, how I didn't realize that they were out of focus when I was shooting it, I have no idea, but they are. So, but I'm not going back outside to reshoot it. So please just uh, accept my apologies on behalf of the fact that the first couple of shots of this video are out of focus and still enjoy the video. So, okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's, uh, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the video now, okay. So when I was uh, much younger than I am now, I was diagnosed with ADD and ADHD. Uh, ADHD meaning I'm hyper and I, I have a, a very hard time focusing on one thing at a time. And then ADD meaning, again, hard time focusing but I'm really fidgety. Um, I'm constantly looking for something to be messing with or, or whatever and it's kind of a problem. A problem in the sense that I spend a, a lot of time playing on my phone and, and things like that, which is probably not very good habits to have. So um, I've just recently started carrying a deck of cards with me. Now, I don't really talk about it a whole lot on this channel simply because, well, But I just recently posted a video to my Instagram of me doing a quick trick and I had several people comment on it so I figured I'd show a trick here. I have two cards, the Ace of Spades and the Ace of Clubs. I'm gonna take both cards, drop them right there, uh, and then I'm gonna go through the deck. Tell me where to stop. Let's say you said stop right there. That is going to be your card. What is that? The Queen of Hearts. Fun times. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take your Queen of Hearts, I'm gonna stick it into the deck like so. I'm gonna give the deck a quick uh, quick little shuffle it do. Not very good at shuffling the deck, but that's all right. All right, so your card is, um, oh, it's in there somewhere. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna take the Ace of Clubs, the Ace of Spades, and we're gonna see if they can't help me find your card in three, two, one card is caught in between them. Can you see that? One card, your card, the Queen of Hearts. Today we're talking about audio stuff. It's super exciting. It's another sponsored video by Rode. I didn't wear this shirt on purpose. I, I did not intend to make a video today. Um, I also didn't plan to wear this shirt. It's just none of my other shirts were. Anyway, so, all right, let's go. So as many of you remember, uh, just a few weeks back, I had the opportunity to work with Road, uh, super exciting. I reached out to Road through Twitter about maybe potentially working together and they reached back and said that they had seen my stuff before and that sounded really interesting and fun to them. And here we are uh, making another video yet again for Road. Today, we're talking about the Wireless Go, but you already knew that. You read the description, you saw the thumbnail. You know what this video is about. We're talking about the Wireless Go. So what is the Wireless Go? So it is basically a lavalier microphone, but it makes it really, really, really easy for people who are vloggers or do tutorials or... Do you mind? I'm making a video. Rude. The Wireless Go is intended for people who make tutorials, uh, vlogs, that sort of thing. But what's so convenient about it is a lavalier microphone clips onto your shirt like this thing. Now, I know what you're thinking. It looks kind of bulbous. It looks like I have a growth on my neck. Well, there's a wind sock on top of it because it's a little windy today, which I'm not complaining about because the thermostat in my truck said it was 107 degrees outside. Uh, no exaggeration. It's Louisiana and I hate it. It's just, uh, it's so hot. But the convenient thing about the wireless go is that it's always facing your mouth it's always near your mouth so you don't have to worry if you turn this way or if you turn this way or you've got your back turned or if you're way over here it doesn't matter 
regardless of where you're at, regardless of where your head is turned or how you're facing the camera or not facing the camera, the Wireless Go is always picking up your voice no matter where you're standing or where you're at. That makes things really convenient for people like me because I have a hard time focusing on more than one thing at a time, which we've talked about. So a lot of times when you see me making these vlogs, making these videos, I'm looking around, things are distracting me. I look out the window, I see something sparkly over here. What was that? That was shiny. It's, it's kind of a problem. So this is convenient because it keeps my voice coming in at a, at a normal, consistent frequency all the time. It's awesome. It's just, it's a life changer. Now, I have to say my favorite microphone that I've been using for a long time is this. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is what you're probably gonna see 90 or more percent of vloggers and YouTubers using whenever they're out and about shooting videos because it's just a really, really, really great mic. This Winsock does a very good job of cutting out background noise and the microphone itself is just really, really, really great quality. But the Wireless Go is equally as convenient, if not more convenient, in the sense of this is the transmitter. It obviously clips onto your shirt like so, and it picks up your voice like it is right now. The receiver mounts to the top of the camera and it plugs directly into the microphone jack, just like the Video Mic Pro Plus. So the audio of my voice is baked into the video that you're seeing right now. So I don't have to worry about taking audio from my phone or taking audio from an external recorder and syncing it up with this video. It's automatically baked into the video. So the Wireless Go has three gain settings. It has a medium, a low, and a high. Don't ask me what the frequencies or the hertz or the decibels or whatever are because to be honest, I don't really know. What I do know is that I use it on its lowest setting because I typically have a relatively loud voice um, and it's just kind of, you know, it is what it is. I just, I can't help it. I'm just loud. I, I'm, that's a problem. That's a problem. I should probably stop talking about that. The Wireless Go also comes in this nifty little pouch like that. If you can see, uh, it's about the size of a wallet. Nothing huge or big or cumbersome. It just fits right in your camera bag in the smallest of slots. So you pretty much have really great audio with a very small footprint like this. So when you purchase the Wireless Go, it comes with the transmitter, the receiver, a wind sock, and the charging cables, and the little carrying pouch. All of that comes in around $250, which is Honestly, not a whole lot of money in the grand scheme of audio and how much good audio costs these days. So really fast, I'm gonna show you guys a quick comparison of what this microphone sounds like compared to the Video Mic Pro Plus, which is my kind of go-to vlogging setup. Um, I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna switch to this yet, but that, we'll figure it out. So this is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Now like I said, this is kind of the, the go-to run and gun shotgun microphone that mounts directly onto the top of your camera, plugs into the microphone jack, and gives you audio that sounds like this. It obviously sounds very good, but the convenience factor is a little less in the sense that if I turn my head this way, or if I turn my head this way, you don't really hear my audio as clearly as you do with the Rode Wireless Go because the Rode Wireless Go clips onto my shirt like that and so it's always picking up my voice no matter where I turn or where I move. Now that's not to say that the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus is a bad microphone. As you can tell, it sounds really good. Uh, it's because it's a great microphone. It's why it's everybody's go-to. It's, it's the microphone that most all of your vloggers are going to use because of the convenience factor. It fits right down in your camera bag. You pull it out, plug it right into your camera and bam, you have really great audio. But I don't know, this little guy, it just, it sounds really, really good. So that's basically the gist of the Rode Wireless Go. Thank you so much to the folks at Rode for sending me this sweet little piece of tech. I'm so sorry that it took me so long to put this video out. I got this back at like the beginning of May. And as many of you know, I took a little bit of a YouTube hiatus uh, just trying to figure out what I was gonna do. And so unfortunately that meant that the Rode video got delayed a little bit, but I'm getting it out now better late than never. I'm super, super, super excited about this relationship with the folks at Rode and the things that they're coming out with and the things that we're getting to do together. So if you'd like to pick up a Rode Wireless Go or a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, I'll have both of them linked down in the description below the like button. Uh, go check them out, give them some love, maybe pick up a microphone or two or four, who knows? I mean, I don't, I don't know how many cameras you got. I don't know. I don't know what your need is. I don't have the first clue. But what I do know is that you should go check them out. And while you're at it, you should like 
like, comment, and subscribe to this video because, uh, yeah, it helps the channel out a lot and it makes me feel a little better on the inside. So, uh, yeah, all of that to say, you guys have a wonderful, incredible remainder of your day and I will plan to see you in the next one. Peace. I don't even know how I just did that. What did I just do? That was supposed to be really cool and it was still kind of cool, but it was... <sighs> I need a new hobby.